Can you hear that? That is... <laughs> Rainier wasn't done playing. Yeah, you weren't done playing. Oh! Your nails, your nails are sharp. You know what? Take your ass outside again. Go get it out of your system. <sighs> This far. So, I haven't been. Uh, hey, you can't be running in and out of the house like that. Oh, like a little a fucking kid. Try it now, dude. Try it now. Like I was saying. No, no. <laughs> I have not been feeling well. But the universe must have known this was coming because if it weren't for Rainier in my life, I probably wouldn't get out of bed. He kind of forces me to get out of bed and interact. Hey, no thank you. We cannot leave. <sighs> I haven't been taking him to the dog park because I haven't been wanting him to get all muddy, but he doesn't care. He's like all in the fucking water in the mud anyways. At least it's more like water and rock here than it is mud, but it is fucking freezing. He doesn't care. He just wants to chew sticks and run and doesn't care if it's snowing or raining or... I don't know about the heat yet. We haven't experienced that yet. He might care if it's too hot. But he's over there chewing Sticks. And usually he tries to bring a big ass stick inside the house. He's really good at pilling the sticks. He pills the sticks and then he prepares them for us to toss them. So <laughs> he's working on his tossing stick right now. I'm not gonna watch his ass because he'll try to like get out of the gate. Hey, that's enough. Come inside. Get in here. Ugh. I laid a towel on the ground because he's so fucking wet. Hold on. I have to lock my door. You all feel better now? You get out of your system? Ready to watch some TV? Relax? Why not you eat your breakfast? Go eat your breakfast. Yeah, breakfast time. No. Got too much energy still. Whatever. So, without this dog in my life, pretty much be by myself all the time, which is not a problem for me. I enjoy my own company, but I definitely sleep a lot more when I don't have someone forcing me to get out of bed. Right now, it's like, 11 o'clock he's been pretty good about letting me sleep till like nine thirty, ten, which i appreciate I'm gonna make myself some toast and oatmeal hopefully that won't hurt my stomach kind of tired of complaining about the way I feel, so just like 
don't really want to talk about it anymore. It's frustrating. Like, there's a part of me that's like, oh, don't talk about it because you don't want to bring it into existence. But the other part of me is like, I'm just talking about what exists, you know? Like, this is already happening to me. <sighs> but, you know, if I'm going to believe in the power of attraction, then I have to attract some good health. Um, <sighs> so, I'm really thankful to have the husky, because... It does, uh, Rainier does give me company. He's funny. He's obnoxious. He's demanding. But I kind of need that. My husband is the same way. And if it weren't for him, some days I wouldn't get out of bed either. <laughs> He's just in the kitchen staring at me. Hey, you know you're supposed to be out of the kitchen, right? <coughs> out of the kitchen. <coughs> Thank you. You could sit right there. Or not. I don't care. Okay, so I moved shit around. Okay. I got this organizer <coughs> here. Um, and I put my coffee maker on it. But now I have to walk around the island to access it because it's right there. I mean, I have to walk around to plug it in. Ooh, I could have plugged it in right there. I'll just plug it in right here. And then, uh, so I got this big ass shelf thing. It's kind of like perfect right here because I could still move the TV without it like hitting. So that's good. Um, and it does allow for me to put more shit here instead of on the counter, which I appreciate because I like to have clear counters. But now I have to walk around the island <laughs> to plug it in and to fill it with water because like there isn't a whole lot of room here there is i guess a plug in here i didn't realize um shit and it says it needs water so i'm gonna walk around again <laughs> so this little trailer living it does um it wouldn't seem as it would but it does actually <clears throat> give me quite a bit of exercise just like walking around looking for shit trying to reorganize shit constantly <sighs> constantly moving shit that's just me in general I'm always moving shit but trying to figure out the best way to make this place as comfortable as possible in the small amount of space that we have has been a challenge. And then since we got the Husky, he practically takes up my spare bedroom with this kennel. So I can't wait for him to like just be trustworthy enough to leave in the trailer without his kennel. That is the hope <laughs> that he won't fuck shit up. But he's a husky. He might. So I used the hot water from my Keurig. I wanted, hey, out of the kitchen. Out. And so like, it's so small, it's like, really easy for him to get it. Hey, I'm talking. Say it. Say it then. What do you want to say? You have your food. You, you have your food. Hey, you have your own food. Do you want a radish? Can you do a radish? Can you sit? 
Paste it. And for the radish. There you go. He likes radishes. He's very demanding. Anyways, this is me Monday. God, what day is it? Uh, February 20th? Yeah, because tomorrow's the 21st and I have my doctor's appointment that I thought I had last Friday and then Wednesday the 22nd I have a hair appointment to color this so nervous about that but um I'm gonna do it today I do have my second week of my oh just getting super dizzy um, my second week of my third residency Starting today at 3, from 3 p.m. to 7.30, so maybe it's 4, I think it's 4, either way.